Hello everybody, so welcome once again back to Vintage Thursday. Um, so today is the day we drill our grass seed. Um, so we've got the 178, we have got the Massey Ferguson 30 drill. Um, the one thing, um, so we're just putting in pure grass seed today, or grass seed and clover. So we're not actually using the drill hopper, um, we're just going to be using the grass seed box on the back. Um, it drops it down, shoots, or just drops it onto the soil. Um, and then the harrows just lightly cover the seed. Um, so because we're not putting any uh, grain in, any cereals in, there is no tubes on the drill. So we're just we're using it just as a grass seed box. Um, the reason for doing that, it is a little bit slow. You know, it's only two and a half meters wide, so it's going to take us a while to do this field. Uh, but it's very accurate, <clears throat> and because it is full width. Um, and just dropping the seed from the tubes just to the soil um, it's unaffected by wind um, if we planted with a fertilizer spinner which is our other option um, it's a little breezy today but not not too bad but if you get a strong side wind um, that can blow the seed because grass seed is very light um, and it can cause inaccuracies in your in your planting um, this system slow but accurate um, uh, tried and tested <clears throat> so we've got our seed up on the top uh, so we'll just drop this seed off first, take a look at what we're planting. Okay, so just for those that are interested, this is the varieties. Uh, this is all just pure grass in this in the bags so it's a dual purpose cutting and grazing mix um, i did say at the start we're putting grass and clover in um, that is just grass seed in the bags there was a mistake when we ordered so we ordered a grass and clover mixture uh, and when we put a bag of seed in the drill uh, two days ago we noticed it's just pure grass we didn't check on delivery um, so somebody made a mistake between ordering and delivery and didn't send us grass and clover seed. So what we have, a bag of clover seed. So we've got to mix it ourselves. So I've pre-measured the weight per bag um, and we need to put two of these jugfuls per bag of, uh, of grass seed to get us the right mix. So here is clover seed, tiny, Tiny, tiny little seeds. And we'll pour along. And just mix by hand. Just mix it in. So in the bottom of this seed box, we will see it at some point during the day, there is brushes and they revolve and flick the seed through holes that we can adjust the size of to adjust the seed rate. So you adjust the seed rate uh, by changing the size of the hole the grass seed flows through. And then obviously it goes either faster or slower depending on the seed size, because grass seed size does vary depending on the variety and the, the type. So we're just, there's one, one jug full mixed, or one jug. Put our second one in. And there you can see the grass and clover mixed together. That will go through the brush mechanism and that can come out down to the tubes. 
So like I said, just an empty hopper. We're not using that. Um, so we just keep this shut up all day.
you okay? You know, you were down there. You're supposed to be holding on tight. So there we go, that was a hun about 130 kilos of seed planted on just over eight acres. Um, actually, the wind got up, it's quite breezy now. So, uh, yeah, but we've had a good day. Tractor and, tractor and drill have gone well. Um, we've gone into perfect conditions. Um, <clears throat> there is moisture down in the seed bed, but it's dry on top. Um, the grass is just mixed in the top half inch or so. So really we need some rain on it. Uh, there is none, none in the forecast. So there's plenty of moisture underneath, but if it would rain on it and get the seed moist, it would be away. Um, yeah, but we just got to wait for some rain. I don't, it's, there's not enough moisture in the top where the seed is to germinate, hopefully. The, uh, the worst thing that could happen uh, is part of it germinate by the moisture in the soil um, and the drier seeds not germinate. And then the ones that have, you know, and then we'll kind of get two germinations when we get some rain. So hopefully it'll stay. Hopefully nothing will germinate until we get some rain and then it will be away. And uh, yes, yeah, so we will bring you back in the summer uh, once it's grown. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, down there somewhere next to the subscribe button is a little bell. If you press that, that will tell you, no, that will be your notification of every time we do a new video. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.